I'm the Sylvanar, the spiritual advisor to... Why, it's you. Wonderful. Wood Orcs from Juthsugar have captured me, and I don't know why. I'm loath to impose upon your aid yet again, but I have nowhere else to turn. Thank you. The gods know I could use your help. It's taking all my energy to maintain this projection. The Drablog captured me and my traveling companions. They're holding us prisoner in Juthsugar. I need you to rescue my advisors. They can tell you more about the attack and perhaps help you free me from my prison. I am being weakened by some powerful magic. They won't be much use to you as fighters, but they're very clever. My advisors are my confidants, my bodyguards. They fill multiple roles. We were en route to my wedding with the Green Lady. When the Drablog attacked, they were slain or taken. Two survived, Ryan and Sariel. A warrior. He's my military advisor and a bodyguard. He fought hard during the ambush, but was overwhelmed. If you free him, he can advise you how to battle the Drublog. But I fear he was severely wounded and may not be able to fight. The youngest of my advisors. Ambassador Sariel's visions give guidance when those twice her age see no clear path. She could help you find out how to free me. The Drublog used a foul spell to trap me. I've never encountered it before. The same energy prevents anything beyond this Sigic contact. I can't escape without your help. As the Sylvanar, I'm the manifestation of the spiritual strength within every Bosma. But I must join with the Green Lady before my role can be fulfilled. The Drablog attacked my retinue on our way to this ritual. We had no time to ask them why. The Sylvanar? Where is he? Have you seen him? Thank Ifri, he's alive then. We could have beat the Drablog ambushes, but they brought in a creature. Huge, ugly, nothing we did hurt it. I couldn't say. I fought back, but the Drablog warriors hit me over the head. Everything went blurry and I woke up here with Sariel. Perhaps she saw more. Please, don't worry about me. You must rescue the Sylvanar. He did? You've seen the Sylvanar? Praise Ifrei. They attacked us on the road. Rayan fought the Drablog ambushers, but they knocked him out cold. I was no help, but I saw everything. The Drablog shaman chanted words from a ritual book, and energy flowed from the Sylvanar into these giant crystals. The shaman kept chanting as they carried the Sylvanar away, but we were separated from him. Please, we have to get that book and stop the ritual.
we find the Silvanar, will you be able to get us all out of here? I'm afraid I should rest. have a chance that's it the ritual of unbinding be careful the drawblog used it when they attacked us the sylvanar weakened when the shaman read from it we keep it out of their hands and now we've got to find the runestone too the shaman used it and the book together it's a ritual focus the drawblog used it against the sylvanar remember i said they drained his energy into crystals the runestone is the conduit with it, we can reverse the ritual and give back the energy. There are two Daedric shrines within Jothsugur. We found the book at this one, so I bet the runestone is at the other. The second shrine is on the other side of their fortress. They wouldn't want to make it easy for anyone to recover both items. Strange foreboding. Not all of us will leave Jossiga alive. Let's one. get inside. We need to take the book and the stone somewhere safe so you can examine them. We can't stay out in the open, and the longhouse we were being held in is probably teeming with Drablog. There was another longhouse south of that one. Maybe we could try going there. The hand Slack fast, in your pace. It'll be a Ambassador miracle. Ambassador Rayan is hurt badly. I understand what needs to be done. Read the book. One of us must die to save the Sylvanar. Frankly, that's a lower price than I expected. Daedric rituals often come at such a cost. Obviously, I should be sacrificed. I'm the weakest of us. When the Drawblog attacked, Rayan fought back while I was captured straight off. I'm an advisor, not a warrior. The Sylvanar needs warriors. 
If you think I'm a good advisor, listen. Freeing the Sylvanar won't be enough. His power's drained. The Drawblood guarding him won't just let him walk out. Rayan can help you. Use the runestone on me. No! Rayan's good in a fight, but even his skill pales before yours. If you use the runestone on yourself, the Sylvanar will be restored, but weak and in his enemy's hands. Don't throw your life away! According to Sariel, that book says the price of saving the Sylvanar is one of our lives. Good. We should pay for our failure. It's a hard choice, but a simple one. It's my duty to die protecting the Sylvanar. I failed once, so badly I can't fight anymore. The Sylvanar needs advisors like Sariel. I was so helpful till now. No, I've seen you fight. If anyone can get the Sylvanar out of here, it's you. And Sariel. She's young, but wise. The Sylvanar needs such advisors, not near-dead warriors. Sacrifice me. That was horrible. I could feel his spirit energy draining away. I can't believe you chose to sacrifice Rayan, but I won't waste his gift. I'll do whatever I can to rescue the Sylvanar and help you. Earlier, when we were running through the compound, I noticed four rays of light coming from the towers surrounding the main building. I think those are coming from the Binding Stones. We need to disrupt them to stop the ritual. The Rune Stone. When Rayen was sacrificed, it changed into a rune key. If you invoke its power against the binding stones, you'll sever their connection to the ritual. Sever all four and the energy drain will cease. The Sylvanor will be free, but weak. I can use my visions to get out of Josiga, so you don't have to worry about me. I've also recovered enough energy to invoke my spirit totem. It will follow you until you leave Josiga, aiding you as it can. My totem spirit will fight, but it is most useful in that it can heal your wounds. Just stay close to it and the energy it manifests will help you recover in battle. I wish I could do more to honor Rayen's sacrifice.
see my prison, the fortress on the hill. Come up. Good to finally see you with my own eyes. Thank you for rescuing me, but our trials are not over. The binding stones affected my connection to the Bosma. I must get back everything they took from me. Give me time. The Drablog and the Houndsman can't have missed your disruption of the binding stones. They'll be here soon, driven by Chief Nagoth. Keep them back while I regain the energy they stole from me. Only then can we leave. and the Drublog working together to destroy my connection to the land. I can't believe it. Thankfully, you saved me. I agree. I've recovered sufficient magicka to create a portal out of Jathsaga. Are you ready to go? After I teleport out, I'll leave the portal open as long as I can. We'll meet again outside, beyond the reach of the Drublog. Don't wait too long. The portal won't stay up forever and I wouldn't be surprised if more Drublogs show up down here soon. Hmm. Events are spiraling out of control. And as the spinners say, we've... 
left the story. Without you, neither I nor my ambassador would have gotten out of Jathsaga. I will be. It seems I can only trust you and my last ambassador. I must get to the town of Sylvanar and the Green Lady quickly. As soon as my Magicka returns, we'll be on our way. Yes. With all you did inside Jathsaga, I think the Drablog threat is finished. 